Hello wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back-to-back -back updates and information as the heart. If this is your first time of joining us on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and all our social men, men, media handles as the almighty Chukwu Kabia man. Go carry the blessing, ba. Come bring them for your house. Yeah, make we go for the business website and encourage us. Come here. The DSS has opened up on why they oppose Nambicano's request for access to medical records. And as they, they, they brought out this, um, the reason, Mazi Ozeko Mesan and his team has acted wisely. Of course, I will be bringing to you what Mazi Ozeko uh, and his team did to counter what the DSS people are doing. Of course, um, the Ibo, Ibo Nguregin, Ibo Nguerife, and Ibo Hamolife, what I go. So, Milia Deshi, uh, make we go down and see the hot. Abuja, the Department of State Service, DSS, has asked the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja to dismiss an application. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nambekano, filed to be granted access to his medical records. Kano in the suit, he fired through his team of lawyers led by Professor Mike Ozeko Mesan, equally applied for an order of mandamus to compel the security agency to allow him to have unhindered access to his private physicians. However, when the matter came up for hearing on Tuesday, counsel to the DSS, Mr. A.M. Danlami, challenged the jurisdiction of the court to grant the request. Dan Lamy told the court that the security agency had earlier filed both a preliminary objection and a counter affidavit to query the legal competence of Kano's suit, insisting that Kano has been receiving adequate medical attention in custody. The counsel to the DSS said he attached a feeding schedule that reflected the IPOB leader's demand for his choice of food. The DSS lawyer Further attached an exhibit, he said, will show the court that the detained applicant was dutifully and clinically on his routine medication. We therefore urge the Honorable Court to dismiss the suit in the interest of justice and national security, Dan Lamy added. Meanwhile, arguing the suit before the court, Professor Mike Ozekome San told the court that the health of his client has deteriorated badly accusing the DSS of refusing to allow him to get an independent medical examination. He told the court that a special doctor that was engaged by the security agency had warned that IPOB leader Mazenan Dekanis could die if he was not allowed to have access to a quality health care. All we are saying is, let this young man not die. He told us that they, they took his medical report to South Africa, but to date, we have not seen anything. Now they are talking about conducting ear surgery on him. The Supreme Court has repeatedly said that a man should be alive to be able to stand trial. This case has taken international coloration, and this court can save this country the opprobrium by ordering them to release his medical records. We have equally attached satisfied true copy of the judgment of a high court in Umaya, which awarded 500 million naira damages for the extraordinary rendition of the applicant from Kenya. We humbly seek my Lord intervention in this matter. We are seeking solace for this young man who has been beaten blue and black with no one to stand up for him apart from this court. His doctor has gone there two times, but they refuse him entry. But here they are asking for release from the court when they have not obeyed a subsisting order of this same court. They cannot come before this temple of justice with soiled hand to seek equitable remedy. Moreover, my learned friend is missing the entire point. We are not here on the issue of whether they are feeding him or not. All we are saying is let the treatment they claim that he is receiving be subjected to a review by an independent physician of, the, of his choice, Ozeko Messan added. After she had listened to both sides, 
Justice Bing Tanyako adjourned the matter till July 20th for judgment. Specifically, Kano had in the suit marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 2341 slash 2022 said he would need his doctors to conduct an independent examination to ascertain his actual state of health. He is praying the court for an order granting him leave to apply for judicial review in front of an order of mandamus. Compelling the respondent to allow the applicant unhindered access to his medical doctors to enable them to conduct an independent examination of his present deteriorating health condition as earlier ordered by the Federal High Court, Abuja, Kuran. Honorable Justice BFM Nyako, on the 21st of day of October 2021, as, a, as required, by the express provision of Section 7 of the Anti-Torture Act 2017, as well as an order of this Honorable Court granting leave to the applicant to apply for judicial review in the form of an order of mandamus, compelling the respondent to avail the applicant with all his medical records from the 29th day of June 2021 till date. Can only stare some of the records he will require from the DSS to include his admission records, medical and clinical notes, nursing notes, observation chart, and docu documentation during treatment or stay in hospital, laboratory test results, pharmaceutical records, radiological scans, image and reports, blood transfusion record, physiotherapy and rehabilitative treatment records, clinical finding as well as diagnosis and treatment prescribed records. On ground upon which he filed the application, Kanu noted that trial Justice Nyako had on October 21, 2021, ordered that he should be allowed access to three persons of his choice, including his medical doctor. Kanu argued that Section 17 of Anti-Torture Act 2017 provided that a person arrested, detained, undergoing Custodial investigation shall have the right to demand a physical and psychological examination by an independent and competent doctor of his own choice after interrogation, which shall be conducted outside the influence of police or security forces. The respondent have repeatedly denied the applicant access to medical doctors of his choice to independently examine him. Contrary to the order of the court, made on the 21st October 2021 and the express provision of Section 7 of the Anti-Torture Act 2017, he added. In a verifying affidavit that was deposed to by one Chimwanya Enenare, Kanu told the court that Court that prior to the time he was arrested, abducted in Kenya and extraordinarily rendered back to Nigeria, he visited a special cardiologist every week for medical examination and treatment. Medical reports containing the medical history of applicant as was issued by medical specialists managing the applicant before his abduction in Kenya and extraordinary rendition to Nigeria are hereby attached and very variously marked as SBs MNK3, MNK4, and MNK5. That notwithstanding the fact that the applicant has been discharged by the appellate court and his further detention prohibited, the applicant is still being held in solitary confinement in the custody of the respondent, where he is exposed to daily mental and psychological torture and degrad degradation of his human person. Can allege that upon his abduction in Kenya, he was subjected to various forms of brutal torture and inhuman treatment and degradation, all of which was in his health condition pursuant to which he suffered a mild cardiac arrest before he was smuggled back into Nigeria. The applicant's health condition was continued to take a downward spiral since then. 
that various medical personnel had attended to the applicant whilst in custody had repeatedly informed him that they could not ascertain the reason for the dep depletion of potassium in the applicant's blood. That on various occasions, the medical personnel brought by the respondent took the applicant blood sample and allegedly transported same to South Africa for screaming and up to the present there is no end in sight for their trial and error med medicare that all medical experts that have so far attended to this complex health situation of the applicant fail to medically fathom the explanation for the continued failure of various treatment so far given to the applicant hence there are inquiries as to whether the applicant may have been injected with a dangerous substance by those that abducted him in Kenya before being forcefully smuggled into Nigeria. That the medical personnel attending to the applicant in the custody of the respondent are oblivious of the cause of the applicant's health condition and are basically using the applicant as a guinea pig while carrying out a trial and error exercise. As they keep changing his drugs, and increasing the dosage without any improvement whatsoever in his health condition, attached and marked as exhibit MNK6 in a cop is a copy of the applicant's medical report issued by the respondent. That the full medical history of the applicant as contained in his medical file with the detaining author authority were deliberately su suppressed, as the fact of the speedy depletion in his potassium content was clearly deleted from the medical report which the respondent issued to the applicant. That the applicant's doctor, Dr. C. Fine Okorochuku, who had gone to visit him on the 29th August 2022 and 1st and 5th September 2022, respectively, was denied access to him by the respondent. In flagrant disregard to the order of the trial court made on the 21st day of October 2021, which order directed that the applicant should be allowed access to three persons of his choice, which persons include his doctors, attached and marked as Isbik MNK8, are copies of the letters forwarding the name of the doctor to the respondent. Mm -hmm. That following the continued refusal of the respondent to allow the applicant access to his medical doctor on the 12th of December 2022, the applicant, through his lead counsel, Chief Mike Ozekomesan, wrote to the respondent and demanded that the applicant be given unhindered access to his own medical doctors. And further, for the applicant's comprehensive medical record, a copy of the said letter is hereby attached and marked as SBK MNK9. That the respondent roundly ignored the applicant's request to be availed of his medical records and access to his doctors. The deponent averred. It will be recalled that the Court of Appeal in Abuja had on October 13, 2022, quashed 15 count terrorism charge the federal government entered against Kano, even as it discharged him. However, following an appeal, FG lodged before the Supreme Court, the Appellate Court on October 28, 2022, granted a stay of execution of his judgment to await decision of the Appellate Court. I wonder if people now here I go the Wusso Wallace and a big will I also all as it be, and I hear I go to pack my motor because our first subsidy never allow us. Meanwhile, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You don't see our CDB, uh, will be the matter will be say consign MNK or Hamadikan Ndibo, uh, say uh, the FG and Nigerian government, the, the, the court, uh, the people I said they use and play, uh, uh, go and forth, back and play. You know, that kind of football where we say we they play, that kind of where we say we they small. Yeah, but one thing where we say is that I'm Chukwe Abiyama. They are life for uh, in go still answer to the prayer of Um Israel. God bless you for listening. Thank you.